Hi, Ken from Audio Talk. How to create deep bass in a small box. That is something that I get a lot of questions on because it's just highly desired these days. And that is fully understandable. It would be nice that there's nothing to look at and it's just there. It's just bass uh, and lots of it. So how you achieve it in a small box is by having a relatively small cone, this area, you know, the membrane here that's moving the air, and then you need a long throw. You need something that can move this way a long ways, you know, a long uh, X max is what it's called as a TL small parameter. The only thing that is, what can you say, the, the trade off here, the, the um, compromise is that your efficiency is significantly lower. That's why you see these enormous um, amounts of watts for many of these really long thrown uh, car stereo woofers, like 2,000, 3,000 watts. And um, one could even wonder once looking into it, it's like, you know, these these uh, stage equipment woofers, why aren't we using those? Um, instead, you know, for this purpose, because they have like 99, maybe 99, 100 decibels of sensitivity, which is really high, it's very efficient. From just a little bit of power, it can play really loud. But the reason uh, they are obtaining that is the large membrane, that's one thing, you know, using a big woofer, a light cone. This right here, the membrane, is light on those. And what that does is that once it moves back and forth, the air resistance in the box, the pressure inside the box, would quickly make it stop. So those tend to not play deep. Even if you have like a large uh, subwoofer, like 18 inch, 21 inch, um, um, huge PA software, it might only play down to 36 hertz, where you can have a little box like this for your uh, home theater playing down to 20. But it would just pay, play way less loud, you know, but it would play really, really deep. So that's your trade off, you know. You really, it's hard to get both. You will definitely, even in a small box with a large throw, you need to burn off thousands of watts if you need that to be loud for like, for, for like, uh, what do you call like a club or something like that. So, so because, you know, you, one could go in and take the large cone and just make it extremely heavy. Uh, that is what uh, um, the manufacturer Earthquake is doing, is that their woofer cones uh, on the D DBXI uh, series is almost like, uh, um, you know, it's almost like a thin type of wood, almost. It's uh, really, really thick paper, um, so, so it makes it really heavy. Uh, again, the, the lowers the efficiency by a lot, and um, but it overcomes the pressure inside the box by its inertia from the weight. So that's, I hope you get something out of that. Then you know what you're up against. Like if you want really deep bass, it's gonna cost you some energy. Particularly if you want the box to be small, then it's costing you even more energy to get down there. So um, that's the, uh, the cruel reality of physics. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Um, I know it's a bit, it has a little bit of a negative uh, taste to it, but it's real, it's what you're up against. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say on this subject, just uh, briefly. I know there's a lot more calculations to it. Uh, please ask questions down, in the, in, down below, uh, and I'll be happy to answer them the best that I can, or maybe it will spark uh, a question that would be so good that it would be for another video maybe. So anyway, please comment and thank you for watching. So hopefully see you next time. Ken from Audio Talk. Take care guys. Bye.